We here in the Champlain Valley almost had a heat wave because two days ago it was 90. It was yep. 94 yesterday oh, and saw 88 brutal. today. So within two degrees, it has been so warm, unbelievable. What a weekend it was. We are going to cool down a little bit, and we actually have some rain in the forecast, which is, I think, a welcome change at this point. We could use some. Of course, we've had some grass fires, things like that around here. So I want to start you out with the setup here. It's a warm front that's kind of pushing its way on through right now, which is why we have some showers, and yes, we have some thunderstorms out there as well. Maybe you've noticed it has been hot. We've got a cold front back to the west. This front is going to be here tomorrow night, Wednesday night, then into Thursday. So I think we're going to find some more rain. Especially tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night, at least for a while. Here's what's going on right now. This is Storm Tracker 5000. We'll take you into northern New York where probably some rumbles of thunder. Not seeing much on the lightning detector right now. The good news is this stuff is trucking along, so it's not going to rain in the same place for a long time. Flooding, not a concern. It's been so dry out there. But just west of Plattsburgh right now, so you head on over to places like Beekman Town. You could follow this right over just south of Malone at this point. It's wet in places like Redford. Every Everything lifting to the north. So eventually it's going to get real wet around Ellenburg, over towards Champlain, Moors. You guys are going to get wet too. Then we head on down to the south. Screw and you guys got nailed with a thunderstorm just a little while ago. This thing is making its way off to the east. Ticonderoga in its sights right now. Be prepared for that. It has been wet. Uh, right around Crown Point. Then we head on down into Rutland County. We've been watching this that went through Paulette. It continues to make its way towards Springfield. We'll say if that stays in one piece. And then we head to the north where we've got some more. Uh, we had a little thunder in here, but now it looks like mainly rain lifting to the north around Montgomery. This stuff is going to make its way into Canada. So we widen out a little bit, and you just get the idea that while we're dealing with some stuff right now, it's going to get a little bit busier tomorrow because where the cold front is, we've got some pretty serious showers and thunderstorms. Storms. And that's why we're thinking by tomorrow afternoon, including afternoon drive, we're going to find rain and some thunderstorms. And again, that's for tomorrow. Right now, it's 84 degrees Burlington, 78 degrees in Plattsburgh. Look at Lebanon at 89. Wow, 84 Rutland, 78 degrees as you head towards Saranac Lake. Well, what's going to happen here? This is Futurecast, 7 o'clock tonight, still some showers and a few thunderstorms around. We lose the daytime heating and we lose it early these days. The sun going down so much earlier, that all comes to an end and we become mainly clear later on tonight. So here's the deal for tomorrow morning. We've got sunshine, but I want to pop you up into the afternoon. So right here, notice the timestamp, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're looking at showers with some thunderstorms, northern Champlain Valley and then back into the Adirondacks. Then we jump it up to 445 in the afternoon. People get ready to get out of work and we will find some showers and thunderstorms around just getting through the Champlain Valley. So a lot of northwestern Vermont, you could follow this down into places like uh, southern Essex County in northern New York, then down toward Albany. But watch the way this stuff does blow on through. And this is going to be interesting. This is a change from yesterday. On Thursday, it does not look like it's going to be the wet day. It looked like it was going to be yesterday because that's going to stay mainly south of us. But note the clouds, fairly distinct line right through the Champlain Valley. Further west you are, the more sun you see. The further east and south, the less sun you see. And because of that, it's going to be a little bit cooler and it's going to be cloudy. And then by Friday morning, there's the rain we're talking about over New Hampshire into Maine. And then it skirts on out of here. So it goes like this some scattered showers and thunderstorms tonight. That's going to be the case for the next couple of hours. 69 degrees for a low, thinking 89 for a high tomorrow. Some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. 89 also in Plattsburgh, 89 in Rutland. It is going to be a very hot day around here. Champlain Valley, first thing tomorrow morning. We've got some sun, partly sunny through noontime. Best chances for some scattered showers and yes, some thunderstorms in the afternoon. So 89 to 63 tomorrow night. 79 degrees, mostly cloudy in the Champlain Valley, but still some sun. This is Thursday, brighter to the west, cloudier to the east. Friday, partly sunny, 75, 73. Saturday, chance for some showers on Sunday with a partly sunny sky, 75. Chance for a shower Monday, but not bad, 75, 76. Tuesday, with a mix of sun and clouds.